So after you load data, what you'll see is your data loaded in the middle of the screen and it'll start with a 2D view. So you're seeing an axial 2D slice. You'll notice that as I move the stylus, the blue ray coming out of the stylus moves along with it. And you want to use the front tip of the, that ray as your selection point. So when the ray is not touching anything, it's blue. When the front tip touches something, it'll go green. And that's when you can press and hold the front button to interact with objects. Now before we do that, at the lower left corner of the screen, you'll see an orientation box, and it's going to give you the anatomical orientation of the data that you're looking at. Next to it, you'll see an information panel, which is going to give you information on the CT data set that you loaded, patient name, patient position, imaging modality, window level, and also voxel indices of whatever voxel you're hovering on and the density value or Hounsfield value of your CT data. And on the lower right corner, you'll see another information panel, but this is the interaction mode that you're in right now. So the default interaction mode is object picking, which means that you can reach in with the stylus, touch something, and you'll feel the vibration and the ray will go green. And that's when you can press and hold the front button to interact with the data. So here I grab the 2D slice and I'm scrolling the data through the cut plane, which are these blue corners that are giving you the 2D uh, cross-section. If you want to change your 2D uh, cut plane, you can select the cone in the center, which is this blue wireframe cone. And once you have it, you press the front button, the corners and the cone become yellow, and you can change and change the orientation and translate the cross-section of the NPRs that you're generating.